Our motto is go big or go home. If you can pick it up by hand, it's not for us. My name is Victor Schradel. I'm president of Victor Enterprises. It was founded in 1974 by my father, Frederick Schradel, in Paducah, Kentucky. We focus mainly on providing solutions for the air compressor industry and the machine tool industry. We've done work for the defense industry. We're looking to do more work in the aerospace industry. That's why we got AS9100 and this machine here, the EC500 and the UNC1000. So this is a 60 horse, 10,000 RPM spindle. So when we spec this machine out, we went to Haas and said, how much spindle speed can we get and keep it in the 50 taper? I want horsepower, I want torque, because I'm going to cut cast iron one day, I'm going to need torque, and the next day I'm going to come back and we cut aluminum, and I need as much spindle speed as I can get. And so that is one of the key features we got with our EC500, is I can go from cutting a cast iron piece that weighs a couple hundred pounds, no questions, no problems, and then I can come in and I can hit, you know, several aluminum parts at 8,000 RPM and get mint surface finishes. So with the working envelope of the EC500, it allows us to do a lot of different size parts. We moved all the parts that we had on our Cincinnati Millicron T40 over to the EC500. That winds up being about 40 parts. It ranges anything from the size of my fist to something that I can't carry. So today we're going to be manufacturing actuator mounting plates. We do that on a tombstone. We do them six at a time, four at a time. On our old machine, we did them one at a time. So we're definitely gaining efficiency there. The other side is an IGV valve body. It's set up right now for the flange job. We're gonna be drilling holes in that and we mill a flat to where we can mount an actuator and control package to it. So on the UMC, we spec'd it out. We wanted every option available. It was, was a new entrance for us, five axis is a whole new world. The way I spec that machine, I call it my Swiss Army knife. There's basically nothing that I couldn't figure out a way to set on that machine and quickly adapt, tool, and run a part out on. The justification for the UMC was to really allow us to get our foot in the door with some of the aerospace parts that customers keep bringing towards us. And it doesn't have to be an aerospace company. But, you know, there's impellers and diffusers, all sorts of vein and arrow shapes. They go in a lot of different things, but you really need a five axis machine. Currently, I'm running out existing customer parts to prove out processes and see where I can take advantage of, of moving things away from a four axis, where I can cut it down from two operations to one or three operations to two. I'd say on the parts that I have proven out, I have brought some of those cycle times down from 30 to 40 minutes to under 15. My dad emigrated to the U.S. He was a proud American. He saw a need for dedicated, passionate machinist and machine work. So one of our greatest strength is our people. Most of the people here have had a long tenure. Some of my machinists, it's been their only job since high school and they graduated back in the 80s. We love working with Haas because they're responsive, they're competitive with their prices, I'm a veteran, I'm happy that we're buying U.S. made equipment.